Hi, class. Let's, let's now discuss some transcendental function um, using the guidelines for curve sketching. So here will be the, uh, the function we're going to look at. Okay. Let's sketch the graph of, let's look at f of x is equal to 6 over 1 plus e to the negative x. Okay. Using the guidelines. All right, so the first thing you got to look at um, is the domain and range, right? So the domain we see, this is just all real numbers. You, there's, you can never get a divide by zero down here. Now the range. The range is going to be interesting. It's, sometimes it's hard to look at this and uh, figure out what the range is. So we're going to come back to that. We're going to actually look at the asymptotes for this. Um, so we'll do intercepts. So the y-intercept, zero, f of zero. Well, if you plug zero into this, you get e to the zero is one. So you get six divided by two. So the y-intercept is the point zero, three. Now the x-intercepts, You know, can you ever set this equal to zero and solve? Uh, no, no. So, so what's interesting is there's no x-intercepts for this graph. Well, okay, interesting, interesting. Um, there's no vertical asymptote. Again, you can't divide by zero. All right, so so no vertical asymptotes. Right, but let's look at horizontal asymptotes. So let's start by evaluating some limits, right? So we got the limit as x goes to infinity of this. Well, that's over 6, 1. When you plug infinity into this, right, we, we learned this in a previous lecture. As x goes to infinity of e to the negative x that goes to 0. So we have 6. So we have one horizontal asymptote Okay, at y is equal to 6. And, and let's check out what happens as we go to the limit as x goes to negative infinity. Well, this is 6 over 1. Well, negative, negative becomes a positive. e raised to the infinite power goes to infinity. So 6, you know, we looked at this. This, this means it's going to go to 0 because you're going to take 6 dividing it by an even bigger and bigger, 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 bigger number. So this is going to go to 0. So we have two horizontal asymptotes from zero to six. So what that means is our range of this, our range is gonna be bounded between zero and six. Okay, all right. So interesting how this is gonna, gonna transpire here. Um, let's now, we, we've got the basic information. No x-intercepts, we have one y-intercept, we know the domain, we know the range. Uh, let's now begin the first derivative stuff here. look at f prime of x. So f of x was equal to, um, I'm going to rewrite it as 6, 1 plus e to the negative x to the negative 1 power. All right, so f prime of x, 6, I'm going to bring down the negative, leave the inside alone. This becomes minus 2. And now to take the derivative of the inside. Well, the derivative of e to the negative x is just negative e to the negative x. So negative negative is a positive. This ends up just becoming 6e to the negative x all over 1 plus e to the negative x squared. All right, so what you're going to do is you're going to look and say, well, where does this equal 0? Okay. You know, if, if you set this equal to zero and solve, there's there's no way you could do it. You, you you can't do it. Like if you set it equal to zero, you're really looking where six e to the negative x equals zero, which doesn't happen. Uh, so no. So there's no no critical numbers. 
All right, that's important. So then, you know, we still have to go through the increasing, decreasing stuff. So our interval is just going to be a single interval. Okay, it's just going to be from negative infinity to infinity. So our test value, all right, I'm just going to pick zero. So let's look at sine of f prime of x at test value. Well, if you plug zero into this, right, uh, e to the zero is one, you just, you, you get a positive number. There's no negative numbers in here. So what this means, okay, is this function is increasing It's increasing on negative infinity to infinity. Interesting. Okay. And there's no relative extrema. Okay. So that that's also another Another really, really interesting thing. So I'm gonna have to draw it so it's always increasing, but it's gonna butt up against two horizontal asymptotes. Um, hmm, weird, interesting. Now the really hard part begins. Okay, we're gonna have to look at the, the second derivative stuff. And this is gonna be a lot of insane algebra here. Okay, so, so watch watch carefully, okay? So now let's look at f double prime of x. All right, well, f prime of x we saw was a 6e to the negative x all over 1 plus e to the negative x squared. So you have to be so careful to do this, OK? There's so many places to make a mistake. There's a lot of negatives, chain rules all up. All, all, all throughout this process, so you have to be very, very careful. F double prime of x. Okay, I have to use the quotient rule. Derivative of the numerator, well, that just gets me uh, negative 6 e to the negative x times the denominator, 1 plus e to the negative x squared, minus the numerator, times the derivative of the denominator. So you have to bring the two down. This becomes one plus e to the negative x. Two minus one is one. And then the derivative of the inside is minus e to the minus x. All over this squared. So this becomes one plus e to the negative x to the fourth power. All right, so first off, do you notice how um, each term has a one plus e to the negative x? So I'm gonna factor that out and cancel down here. So watch what happens when I do. So this is minus six e to the negative x. One of these are coming out, so I'm only left with one plus e to the negative x. Negative negative becomes plus, uh, negative negative becomes plus six times two plus 12. Watch, watch this e to the minus x times e to the minus x is e to the minus 2x. And remember, this got factored out and canceled. So this is all over 1 plus e to the negative x cubed. All right, uh, let's, let's now factor out what you can factor out here, which is interesting next, is you can factor out in uh, 6e to the negative uh, x. So when I do that, when I do that, I'm going to put the, the this in front here. I'm going to flip the terms around. This becomes 2e to the negative x minus, and then in parentheses, 1 plus e to the negative x, all over 1 plus e to the negative x cubed. OK. Distribute the negative. I'm going to move this up here. 6e to the negative x times 2e to the negative x minus 1 minus e to the minus x 
all over 1 plus e to the negative x cubed. Well, look, 2e to the negative x minus e to the x. You end up just with e to the negative x minus 1 all over 1 plus e to the negative x cubed. All right, so what you're going to do now do is you're looking where this is equal to 0, OK? So you're looking where does the numerator equal 0. So you can either have 6e to the negative x is equal to 0, which can't happen. Or you could have e to the minus x minus 1 is equal to 0. Add the 1 over. Take the natural log of each side. So you get minus x is equal to the natural log of 1. Well, what's the natural log of 1? It's 0. So this just happens when x is equal to 0. Whew, so a lot, a lot happens there, okay? And it's crazy, crazy intense. So that's why you need to, um, you know, pay, pay, pay really, really close attention to this, okay? So next what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick test values here, all right? So I'm going to go to, um, go to my uh, next slide here, okay? So you're going to have your interval. So you're going to go from negative infinity uh, to 0. And then you're going to go from 0 to infinity. And you're going to pick test values. OK, you're going to pick negative 1 and 1. And now look, go back. This is my second, uh, second uh, derivative here. OK, I'm going to rewrite it over here. So this was f double prime of x was equal to 6e to the negative x times e to the negative x minus 1 all over uh, 1 plus e to the negative x cubed. So when you plug in, um, uh, when you plug in 1, so you, you, you just have to try to like figure this out. So the sine of f double prime of x, okay, for the test value. So when you plug in negative one, it's actually gonna be positive, okay? But what's, what's really interesting is when you plug in one, this is a positive number, but e to the negative one is less than uh, it, it, it's less than one here. So this, this sign is going to be negative here. All right, like that. So what we're going to see here is this is going to be concave it's going to be concave upward from negative infinity to zero and concave downward. from zero to infinity, which means we have a point of inflection, actually. At this zero f of zero, which was our y-intercept, actually, which was the point going back uh, point zero comma three. All right, so now what we have to do is we have to we have to put this all together, all right, and and sketch the graph. So let's sketch the graph of f of x is equal to six over one plus e to the negative x. Okay, so, so here's what's going on. We have we have the y-intercept here at 0, 3. That's also the point of inflection. We have a horizontal asymptote over here. 
at y is equal to 6, and we have another one at y is equal to 0. And this graph, the way you're going to know how to graph this is what's really, really important here is that it's always increasing. Okay. So what that means is as you move left to right, it's going to have to go up. And so look, concave upward, concave downward, like this. And this is what our graph should look like. Let's grab our um, graphing calculator and test this. So y is equal to 6 divided by, and then in parentheses, 1 plus e to the negative x. Yeah, and look, you can see it too. You can see right there at the y-intercept that it definitely changes. It's going concave upward, and then it starts concave downward. The, the slope of the tangent line starts falling. And that's perfect. You can see my graph, you know, a little freehand, a little messy compared to the graphing calculator here. Um, but, uh, but we got it, you know. So again, what was really hard here was the second derivative uh, and why you have to be so meticulous in your uh, algebra here. And, you know, again, the more you practice, the, the easier this will become.